All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321 Before the Fire. Guys, listen, it's it's approximately 12 a.m. It's 12.22 a.m. I've been lamenting on how to how to give this to you guys. Um, I've been on the phone probably for an hour with a couple of people from the ministry just t- talking about these scriptures, how impossible they are, and how everything intersects now. It's, it's, it's beyond impossible. It's, uh, it's hard to, um, it's hard to process, uh, because of the perfection. I don't think the human mind is really capable of understanding or wrapping your brain around this kind of perfection. And also because it's such an extreme paradox. It's so paradoxical and it's, it's absolute perfection. And, um, I just don't think I'd ever feel worthy to get to deliver it to you guys. <laughs> I just, so anyway, I've been going over it and over it and just, there's no kink in the armor at all. There's, it's perfection. So when you have something that's of that nature, because I don't feel like I could ever do it justice. It's overwhelming to me and I'm struggling with it. Um, the scriptures are perfect. They are perfect. They're perfection. And um, the best I can do is just just deliver to you the scriptures that he's given to me. Everything y'all have already seen, you, you know, just those who try and hide their plans, they turn everything upside down and you know, he, he allows me to show you the manifestation of that in the system that we call the earth, the host body. But it's it's gone way deeper now, and it's gone into the actual existence of God is being proven now. And the system itself bears witness to the existence of God by the Lord God taking two halves and making a system that contains two halves with one of them hidden and in discovering the half that's been hidden the down you're proving the very existence of god by inverting it and therefore discovering yourself and it's kind of like this exercise in self-actualization it's beyond the human brain and i can show it to you i've been able to show it to, you know, Corey and Zach and Kat and Fallon and some other people. And and I can explain it well enough, you know, to people that are right here with me. It's just kind of weird trying to deliver it. Um, like I said, <laughs> I'm going to do the best I can. Um, I guess what I'll be doing all night tonight is organizing uh, these scriptures in a way that I can just say, let's read this, now let's read this, now let's read this. See how every time it points back at itself, it always points back at itself. And it's it's overwhelming in a super cool way. It, it comes with this tremendous peace as well. Um, I don't think there's any greater peace than when you have dug up the treasure to the degree that the Lord's allowed me to dig it up. And so anyway, and then it came with miracles. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to a lot of people. I want to say thanks to Greg. Uh, Today, uh, I was wondering just how, you know, some of the things I need to get done were going to get done. And uh, miraculously, today I got five and five folded together is ten. And it came on the heels of another miracle <laughs> that had to do with the number 10. Anyway, uh, without getting into all that side stuff, just thank you for those people that have been there for this ministry. Um, I'm going to deliver to you the best I can what I don't think any person in the world is worthy of delivering. I don't even know how to say it. It's just anyway. Um. I'm going to work on my, uh, I'm going to 
work on uh, the scriptures just in a way that I is the most pragmatic way I can give it to you step by step by step and then just show you the scriptures and then just go to the folders that support all all the, uh, all the scriptures. Anyway, so I'm checking in right now. I've been struggling with this for, for almost, I don't know, two days solid. Um, okay. I love you guys. Trust me when I tell you I'm trying. It's overwhelming. Um, I wish I could give everybody in the world what I have. I would literally be willing to die to give everybody what I have. Absolutely. All right, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and also, um, I'm afraid if I sit here any longer with the... Just, I, I live in kind of a constant state of back pain. And I'm starting to just experience a little more than I'm used to. And um, anyway, I just want to check in, guys. I'm exhausted as badly as I want to get this out. Um, uh, I pray that you guys will just bear with me for the next 24 hours. Um, Have y'all noticed that people that have no right being in office are in office? Did you know he said, you can call me Fetter instead of Fetterman, Fetter Woman. I think John Fetter Woman, it's all over. I mean, there it is. You know, U.S. Senate Fetter Woman. This is John Fetterman. Uh, his history is absurd. For him to be a politician representing um, people is absurd. Um, here's uh, this person. I don't even want to mention her name. Uh, she said she'll, the new word for a woman is Womexin. Here it is right here. Uh, state lawmakers will now have the power to strip W-O-M-X-N. They won't use the word man, see? W-O-M-X-N. Womexin. Of the right to make a decision about their bodies and their health care. Um, so, Fetterman, Fetterwoman, Womexin, whatever. Um, here's D. Entberg. Day one of quarantine, day 237, two uh, male and female have become one. This is a perfect example of what's happened to the system. It's been encompassed by female energy has taken over. And I'm, I don't know how to deliver all this to y'all, to be honest. It's, it's so overloading. It's so over. It's so overwhelming. It's so perfect. There's so much. It's everything. And it's overwhelming me. It's overwhelming me. Um, C237 right here. That's out of the Bible. So Dion Bird put a reference to from somewhere else. But someone that comes up from somewhere else or another way. The thief climbs up. The same as a robber and a thief. John chapter 10. But he who climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Um, they're literally showing you, Deantvert is, in this image right here, that male and female have been combined into one. But the female energy, which is 2x from the pit, is, ta is taking over. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed um i'm trying to figure out how the best way to uh deliver it is and i'm just truly overwhelmed with it let me show you uh something that was discovered this came to me today from dave the wave this is a uh, 
archaeologists discovered two female mummies in Egypt that featured tattoos on their lower back. Some people call it a tramp stamp, and it's a goat. See, the, this is the horn of a goat, the head of a goat, body of a goat. And look at this downward-facing kind of triangle thing. They say it's a lotus flower. You know, you know what a lotus flower has to do with, um, like, produ uh, production of life. One, two, three, four, five. There's like five little appendages here. And there's one, two, three, four, five little dots here. And over here is a white goat. So there's a black goat over here. There's a white goat over here. There's five appendages like fingers. This is supposed to be a lotus flower over here. So think of ovaries, actually. And here's the eye of Ra. See the eye of Ra right here? And then here's the eye of Ra right here. You see how the shadow... See how this darkness from this one is going from here over to this one right here? So this eye right here is taking over the eye that's light. That's what's going on in, in the system. One eye is female, one eye is male, but the, the eye that's male, which represents light, is being taken over by the darkness. The whole system is being taken over by darkness. And and here it is in a, in a tattoo. Look at the W. You see the W? See this part right here, how the black is encringing on the white. I mean, this is beyond the human brain. This is this is no different than y'all remember the Maserati Super Bowl commercial? Starts with this big tidal wave. Watch. The world is full of giants. The world is full of giants. The world is full of giants. Okay, yeah. so if you're paying attention, the world is full of giants. There's a giant tornado about to wipe out the church, which represents us um there's a shadow taking over taking over the rock watch okay. see how it's going over the whole land but look how it's covering the rock see that that's representing taking over the rock you know the lord is the rock of ages it's taking over those the system and then the female's eyes are opening the little black girl watch then her eyes open up. They have always been here. That's called a god's eye, a dream catcher. Lumbering in now she's looking at her own reflection. It's like that female energy has been actualized. I mean, it, it's so far beyond the human brain. What I've got to show you now that I'm, I'm really struggling with how to deliver this. It is literally the takeover of the consciousness of all of humanity. You know, in the days of Noah... Um, it said man's thoughts had become continually evil. So the Lord decided to wipe them out. Let me show you something. Here's a song. The word revenant means a person who has returned, especially from the dead, supposedly from the dead. Um, here's a song called Revenant. And it's from that band called The Warning. Remember The Warning? I showed you the three girls. Zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, one. They're talking in binary code in their song. And they are spelling the word free. The angel of the bottomless pit is being set free in all of humanity. That was the theme of the Ozzy Osbourne patient number nine. Yeah, patient. I think it's patient number nine, right? Anyway, so it was the same exact thing. The eye opens with the guy on the operating table. And the Lord told me, look at the very moment it happens. It says, I am alive again. Who's alive again? Satan's come out of the pit. He's coming up out of the pit. He's taking over all of humanity. It's happening right now, right in front of us. That's what's going on. John Fetterman, call him. He says, call me Fetter Woman. Why? Because that entity, that 2X twin female energy is taking over. Michelle Obama, Wilmexon, 
Why isn't it just woman? They put an X for M-A-N-M-X-N, showing that other, that twin female energy has taken over the system. That's why. Same thing with this song. You should, you should type into YouTube the warning revenant. And the lyrics are right here on the, uh, they're right on the, uh, forget all, all closure and start hiding now, boy. The whole song's about hunting down boys, male energy, which is the sheep in the system. The serpent is the female energy in the system. Yeah, this is so overwhelming. <laughs> I'm sorry that, that I can't deliver it like I want to right now because I'm so tired. I've been over, I've been going over scriptures just nonstop. When I say nonstop, I've just been dil diligently pulling out the scriptures. All the scriptures are behind everything I'm telling you. They always are. I always come with the scriptures. And um, it's here. The time is arriving. Um, I pray that you guys will bear with me and just uh, keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to come in here and I'll get it done. I'm just... Like I said, it's it's already 1, 1 a.m. It's a little late to try and start a, a video where I have the wherewithal to, to deliver this well. But I'm still still looking at scriptures be, because they all intermesh now. They all cross-reference. It's literally getting to see the perfection of God in the Word of God with the delivery of the information and how it all coalesces and it's all one thing. It's just literally one thing. It's like discovering the Lord God. That's what it is. <laughs> it's insane. Okay. Anyway, uh, again, I hope you guys uh, just bear with me. Um, the double-headed Phoenix. Um, yeah. D adverb. That's the culmination of the beginning when male and female, neither shall you touch it. And here's the end of the road, male and female combined into one unit. And um, and when I say male and female, those are man and woman. And then the female energy has cannibalized all the male energy in the system. And so it's turned now to all twin female taking over. Anyway, again, like I said, I'll try and uh, give you a, an in-depth uh, presentation in the next day or two. Okay, thank you for bearing with me, guys. I'm just like I said, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, the scriptures, if you guys want to, you guys want to get uh, on the scriptures so you can see it. Um, some of the scriptures that would really help you if you go to the special projects, special projects too. There's a there's a a folder called Scripture Bomb, but right here, this one, Eleutheria. The Statue of Liberty is actually referred to as uh, the Statue of Liberty. They call it Eleuther Eleutheria, uh, the Roman goddess uh, Libertas right here, enlightening the world. And it's referred to as Eleutheria. And uh, it's just got some personal implications in my life. And um, if you go look at this folder right here, uh, this is where I've, I've kind of stacked some of the scriptures that if you go, when you pull these up in your, in your Bible and you just, you look at what's in here, cause this is what, this is what I'm going to go over. I'm going to be going over the words that are highlighted and just how important all, all the vocabulary was in the Bible and just how perfect it was. It's absolute perfection. And that may be why I'm so just overwhelmed because a human brain isn't really uh, equipped <laughs> for coming across something of this magnitude. I'm just, like I said, struggling with it. Um, all right. I love you guys in Christ. Yeah. Pray for me that I'm able to hold up under all this. Um, because I know what it means now. The Bible says with, with great, with much knowledge comes much sorrow. He who increases knowledge increases sorrow, which is true, but it also increases uh, just the liberty in your brain. So if we turn both the image of the Virgin upside down twice, it would be double dead sheep. See it right here? So one way it's, 
if you look at it the way I show it to you all the time, you see that it's an image of the Virgin right side up. And when you invert it the other way, when you realize there's an upside down, you realize the Virgin is a dead sheep. But when the system has completed its cycle and it's been made replete and it's been leveled up, then you have twin female. And but what's the downside of that? You have double dead sheep. You see that right there? Right, so here's a thought I'd like to leave you with. When you watch this video called Revenant, Revenant means someone who's come back from the dead. Let me tell you who that is. Satan has come up out of the pit. Twin female is the ultimate evil energy. And when you have, instead of right side up, dead sheep, upside down, you know, uh, right side up, virgin, upside down, dead sheep. When you turn it the other way, then you can, you can, you see what's going on. But at the end of the system of an earth, everything levels up, boom. So you have double virgin energy that's taking over the system. And the downside of that is double dead sheep. So in the end, anyone that doesn't take the mark of the beast, see the woman that rides the beast, the woman that rides the beast system, which is the host body system. If you don't take that mark on your right hand or your forehead, they'll kill you. You'll be put to death. You can't buy, sell, or barter goods. You'll be sent off to a camp. You'll be exterminated. And we're, we're arriving there right now. And I'm trying to process that I'm the guy that knows all this. And I'm the guy that's been given this information. I'm trying to realize <laughs> that I was predestined to do all this, which I've known for a long time, but it's coming to the point of actualization, which is an overwhelming place to be. And uh, it's proven perfectly by the word of God. And even the encounters in my life, the Lord made sure every step along the way, you know, whether or not it was skydiving, uh, falling out of the sky upside down with fangs on, whether or not it was a girlfriend being Eleuthera, which means legitimate or licentious freedom, whether or not it was come out of the darkness into the light with Vlad, I wear cannibalistic, you know, like Cain and Abel vampire sunglasses. No matter what, all my steps along the way in order to arrive at where I'm at have been orchestrated by the Lord, and I see that completely, and I'm overwhelmed by it because I know that the end is arriving and I want to, I'm trying to think of the, what could I do that would be the best thing I could do to help you? Because my heart is, I want everyone to get out of here. I do not want one person to be here for what's coming. I don't want one person to see what's coming on this earth. It's beyond your brain. Jesus said it would be the greatest horror the world would ever see. And so you see that make replete level up? That's right out of the Bible. And so, again, like I said, I'm trying to figure out the best way just to deliver some scriptures to you. I have them in the folders. I have several folders that I put them in, and I'm trying to organize it in a way where I can kind of just very gently <laughs> hand them off to you and go, uh-huh, everything I told you is true. The way I got saved, 100% nylon, 100% no line, turned out to be the foundation, which is being on the rock. That when you know there is a right side up and an upside down energy within the system, just like the virgin is a dead sheep, but I didn't know there was a dead sheep until I got saved. All I saw was the virgin. When I got converted, I realized, turn it upside down and it's a dead sheep. Why is it a dead sheep? And that began the process of understanding this whole um, system and the Bible and the Unrolled Scroll and everything. But now I understand it all completely and I understand where we're at on the timeline. And my goal is to get as many people out of here as possible. I, and if you have a major confession. I'm just trying to think of the best way to get you to make your confession to Christ and to have the hope uh, that I have, because that's what I want you to have. I don't want you to have any doubt. Like Colossians 2, I want you to have the full assurance of the complete understanding of the mystery of Christ and God. So, okay.
Anyway, thanks for letting me just talk. I mean, I, like I said, I wish I could just give you all the stuff I have right now, but I'm too overwhelmed by it right now. Um, I'll get it. I'll get it in a nice delivery package, hopefully within the next 24 hours. If I don't, it'll burden me beyond my ability to deal with it. So another thing is I'm burdened by it so heavily that if I don't deliver it, then it just, it, it crushes me. The, the weight of the information is literally overwhelming to a human brain. So in order for me not to be under this pressure, I have to give it away. I have to give it out to you. Um, and so the longer I wait, the harder it is on myself as well. Okay. So thanks again for, I love you in Christ. Thanks for bearing with me. And I'll, I'll begin to this as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you.